Hey guys, Donnery13 here again. Welcome to another beer review. This time we're going to be looking at a something new from Pickaroons. Well, not recently new, it's a couple, a little old, but this would be Pickaroons Plant to the Bone. There we go. Yeah. And I better hold that up longer because the camera, I think the old camera here is on its last legs. Anyways, real cool, uh, real cool label on it. Uh, yeah. Anyways, I think this one's paper. I kind of like their old ones better. The uh, well, the vinyl ones, but yeah, I can understand the whole price thing, but yeah, paper. Anyways, this is Pickering's Plant of the Bone. This one's a Heather Ale. Four and a half percent alcohol by volume, 500 milliliters. Uh, Northampton Brewing Company Limited, Fredericton Brunswick, obviously. Anybody who watches my stuff here and knows this. And pickaroons.ca. Now, this was made, oh, I want to say last year, as a. Uh, they're having a celebration for the Highland Games here in New Brunswick, and I think it was in Fredericton or thereabouts, and they wanted somebody to name the beer that they were going to make for it. And I think, the, anyways, this is the name, Plant to the Bone, and this is the beer. If anyone can correct me, please do in case I'm wrong. But, anyways, Heather is. Uh, it's, like a, it's like a wheat or something like that. So just putting cereals and stuff. Excuse me. There we go. That one's down a bit, but oh well. And okay, let's see where we go here. Let's give her a pour and use the old uh, center boss. Well, that's from a console. There we go. So, yeah, there we are. Nice, uh, Nice golden color, almost uh, light gold. Lots of carbonation. Yeah, about a finger head there. Nice looking beer. Let's go for a smell. Ooh, that's a. Uh... That's weedy and very, uh, uh, a lot, because a huge smell like, uh, grass or, uh, uh, like, you know, actual, like, it's like fresh cut grassy kind of thing. Almost to the point of, like a skunky smell? I don't know. I don't know what Heather is. I don't know what it smells like or what it is. But. Surprisingly, I kind of like the smell of this. It's kind of off putting when you first smell it, but it's kind of. Yeah. I don't know. It smells fresh and like wildernessy. You know what I mean? It's very green, very earthy is what I'm kind of getting out here. Anyways, cheers, let's go to the taste. Yeah. Tastes about the same. Very earthy. Very uh, green tasting, you know what I mean? I don't even know what the hell the other is. <clears throat> Besides, I guess, you know, it's like a grass or a wheat or something like that. Or a cereal product or something like that. But anyway, this is a... It smells fantastic. It actually grows on you. It's very interesting. It smells, uh... You know, it kind of opens your nose up. You know, your smell, like, uh... Your nose-smelling buds. <laughs> it's very interesting smell, and I really enjoy that smell.
The taste, not so much. I will say that. Very light, kind of, I don't know, low body. Has a nice kind of, uh, does have a nice little bit of a, kind of a bready biscuity taste on the back end, which is nice. I mean, it's not terrible. It's very interesting. Well, I can't say I'd recommend it, but I would say, you know, give it a try. You know, what the hell, right? And not something I'm going to ever buy again, honestly. I'm not going to buy this. Ever again. <laughs> it's just not for me. If I want to buy a beer on the smell alone, I would buy this. Because this one's, uh... I don't know, it's just weird. It's, uh... It's like clears your sinus here. Your nasal passage is kind of great. Yeah, on the taste, nah. I don't know. Not for me, for sure. And yeah, this one's a. Uh, I almost want to give it like a half or a quarter point just for the smell, because the smell is pretty, you know. It's just, you know, it's very interesting. It's very earthy smell. It smells real, real good. But the taste is just, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you know, I'm glad they try new things, but I really don't think I'll ever buy this again. And I, I can't recommend it. But if you want a great smelling beer, this one's for you. And for a rating on this one, I'll go. Yeah, this one's gonna be two seven five. This is just, uh, yeah, you know, yeah, two seven five. I don't know. Fuck. Yeah, two seven five. And this one, I, you know, can't recommend it. But that being said, do each your own. If you want to try this, if you're a huge Pickaroons fan like I am. You want to try everything they make, do that. But I don't want to pass on this one. But then again, do what you want. I don't want to influence anybody. Which I'm probably not based on my. Uh... <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm off, off kilter again, just rambling. But we'll see you in the next one. And cheers, guys.